Kyle Mohan Racing, KMR. I've got my Project Renesis hybrid multi-port motor laid out in front of me here so we can take a look at those parts and talk a little bit about what we've got done and where we're going next. I'm going to call this video two. We've got some questions from fans to answer and some updates on the build. So check it out. All right, so the porting's not 100% done. I've still got to do polishing and a little more work, but it's fairly roughed out, and a few people noticed I did have the bridges drawn on here. For me, I lean towards the street port. It's going to provide great bottom end, great response, great drivability, mid-range horsepower, and at least up to 9,500 RPM, great volume flow and great horsepower. That's what we've always done in the past. I am considering a bridge, as so many people have asked about how does that perform. So if people want to comment, I'll take it into consideration. We can do a bridge or a half bridge on this, but that's going to very much change the effect of the motor. We're going to lose bottom end. It's going to sound amazing. I mean, that's going to be a very brappy motor, um, but I want to remind people that you can't unbridge it. So depending on what people want to see, you know, we either need to go street port and maybe we bridge port later, or if, if, hey, the time is now, let me know and we'll, we'll consider it. Um, I was able to get all the machine work done for the Apex Seal grooves on these uh, RX-8 rotors. I prefer uh, RX-8 rotors right now over RX-7 rotors because we are using the exhaust uh, side ports. And RX-8 rotors do have that scraper ring. Um, they're not my favorite rotor to use, but they're fairly inexpensive. Um, it's not that bad to get the Apex Seal grooves cut. And then for me, I usually run RX-7 Apex uh, corner seals with that because you're running an RX-7 Apex seal. I've had a few people ask about using RX-8 corner seals that have been cut for RX-7 Apex seals. And that is also very viable. Um, I think it's a great option if you can have that done. For us, it's way easier to grab the parts off the shelf. We can run uh, two millimeter RX-7 Apex seals and two millimeter RX-7 corner seals with the RX-8 side seals and side seal springs, and it's a very usable combination. It's been done in the past. I do want to do some more machine work to these rotors. We're going to go with race bearings, and I'm pretty much confident we're going to side cut and balance. I think, you know, that might be all I do. I have been considering lightening them as well, but that adds durational time to the machine work, and I would like to keep this project going, so... That might be the next video is what we do on those rotors and how we do it, but we're looking pretty good. I was able to source use GSLSE rotor housings. It did not have matching ports. I got them rehoned a little bit and I matched up the ports with KMR exhaust port templates. These look pretty good. A lot of people have asked why we don't machine RX-8 rotor housings for the exhaust port to avoid buying GSLSE rotor housings. And one of the main things right now is, is GSLSE rotor housings are available new and they're way less expensive than RX-8 rotor housings. I don't know if this is fact, but I kind of feel like the chrome on the GSLSE rotor housings was also very durable. I don't know how anybody else feels. You're welcome to comment. But for me, they, they were strong rotor housings back in the day. They're strong rotor housings now. They're cheaper than RX-8 rotor housings. And the machine work to get the exhaust porting done and then get a sleeve in there will be expensive. I think in most cases, people are able to sell good RX-8 rotor housings and get close to the cost of what new GSLSE rotor housings are. And to answer all those questions, I think that's one of the reasons why we don't do that machine work and why it's not readily available while other machining processes are at this point. Um, you can see we did extend the, uh, the intake duration a little bit and we did bring the exhaust uh, duration down a little bit. Those are very normal things. That could be done on a stock Renesis motor, a nice street port like that, or on a hybrid setup. Um, and that kind of brings me back to the whole volume and flow of the motor. I think a lot of people ask about semi-peripheral porting or deleting certain exhaust ports. I wouldn't remove any of this exhaust flow. I know it does make the manifold a little bit different, but you really don't want to imbalance the rotor's ability to discharge exhaust flow. Um, I believe, from what I've seen at least, 
that can cause uh, issues internally. So for me, I say leave all of the exhausts, either leave it stock or go hybrid is my preference. But hey, up to you guys. I didn't get to this point by uh, following what everybody told me. So, you know, I'm happy to discuss and, uh, and happy to think about it. But I like balanced intake flow and balanced exhaust flow because I've seen issues with imbalances. Um, that's kind of where we're at. It's looking pretty good. You know, resurfacing came out all right on all the sides. This one had some heat damage. Um, it was actually shrank here at the exhaust port. Um, we were able to recover it, though, so that's one of the nice things about lapping. And uh, I think next up we'll be doing uh, rotor work and uh, getting our balancing done. That's getting one step closer to the build. So I really appreciate everybody following the channel. We just passed 6,000 subscribers, which was amazing. And I really appreciate everybody commenting. I really try to give good advice based off my personal experience and what I've seen uh, with other shops that I've worked with on different projects. So you know what's coming next. We're going to keep this build going. And right now I am going to brap, brap, brap on out of here because uh, I got work to do. I got to work on this and I got to work on some drift cars and I got to work on some other projects. We're looking all right. Still needs more polishing. We're not done with that porting. We've got to decide about that bridge. We've got more parts to acquire, press, work on, more decisions to make. It's a fun build. I'm enjoying this. This, this for me is a hot rod motor. Definitely a hot rod motor. Flows a lot of air. Very well balanced, very efficient in this form because I've ran it this way before. But we'll see where this build goes. All right, that's it. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Time to go. Got to work.